hello guys welcome to day number 12 i'm sorry i'm uploading this video a little late today but it's okay from today onward we gonna start from this procedures and it's very important like from today onward things gonna be little interesting maybe a little difficult but for sure these are very informative so before we start today's discussion we need to have or we need to refresh something in digital we have two type of circuits one is called the most common one they one only we were doing those type of designing and those are called your combinational digital circuit and there is another ty type of digital circuits which are little difficult little advanced but the good thing is that in digital electronics we have both of these two and digital electronics mostly we have in our fourth semester so if you are like i'm not sure i forgot fourth or third semester but yeah if you have heard about this combinational circuit and the second is your sequential circuit then for sure you have already read about this thing if you have never heard about this thing or you are unable to recall it then just for purpose to learn very long for today's class just remember that combinational circuits are general type of circuits where we don't have any memory block we don't have any memory block we can't store any data there but in the sequential circuit we have some mechanism by which we can say hey it have some memory we can store the value and why we store the value because till the time the exact situation is arriving we need to store the value we don't need to send our value to anywhere and what's the exact situation might be a positive clock age might be a negative clock age might be a positive clock pulse or might be a set or reset signals right so that's why we need the memory and for new people you might be thinking hey sequential circuit gonna be very complex but no it's not a complex thing see this is the fundamental of any sequential circuits this is your sr ledge right from this only we prepare all the flip-flop jk flip-flop master slave flip-flops and there are many things d flip-flop right so this is the main 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 sequential circuits the main component and see how how clean and clear it is not so complex but yeah operation you need to understand but for today's very low purpose we don't need to understand what's the operation uh, behind these things so after understanding this today we're gonna start with our procedures in very log and always block actually we already have once used our always block so your always block is one type of procedure block yeah i'll go there what exactly this is but you are always like anytime you're gonna use your always and you also seen why we need to use always right sometime anytime whenever we want an infinite loop like uh, we need to emulate how hardware work right F to just refresh your memory let me go to that problem so that was the problem right where we were designing one mask and for designing a multiplexer 4 is to 1 multiplexer that day i <clears throat> told you that we need to run it continuously anytime anything ha happening right? and always block was helping us with this because we if you just remember let me load our submission so that time what we were doing we were doing a always at the rate star and at the rate star means this is a sensitivity list i said that time and anything you write inside the sensitivity list anytime those signal gonna change then this code will get executed and that's the exact behavior we wanted from this multiplexer there is another very great question and that is we have another way and that is using assign statement for example we already said that here if you use assign and then something equal to something that time your n will become a where and this thing will continuously work anytime x is changing n will get the same value so you might argue here that hey why we have used always here because we have this assign tool with us right and you might argue here again that hey let's do one thing here just write like assign q equal to d just remove this always those begin and complexities just write like this right and as we know if we have written assign 
then our q will become a wire type variable and anytime d is changing q will get the value right and we have anyway we have the case statement and case statement will simulate the behavior of a multiplexer but the problem is that case statement if else statement there are many other loops are there conditional flow are there they are only defined under a procedural block and always was and is a procedural block so that's why we are bound to use a always block here otherwise if i don't use a always block here and i try to use case and why i am using case because i want to simulate the behavior of a mask which is very easily can be done using a case statement you have seen that class also so without a always we can't do it and that's why always is needed so if you are convinced that we need the always block then let's explore it more now now they are saying we have two type of always block one is this at the rate star which we already have used and this will create a combinational block for you like mask multiplexer multiplexer is a combinational block right you have another type of block also or less block and that is called post h clock you can also use a neg h clock also like it's a clock based always block now what's the difference between a star always block and a post clock always block let me write it there so see this will imply any signal anywhere you have in that very low code any time they are changing you execute my always block that's i am saying but here here we are saying let them change let them do their work but you only execute the always block whenever i'm getting that specified clock positive age or the negative age we will go more deep into this type of thing in our next class but for now let us concentrate on this at the rate star so at the rate star here they have written here see combinational block are equivalent to assign statement assign statement just remember assign statement means things are continuously going on anytime anything is changing uh, your right left hand side of your assignment keep on changing and the same thing will happen with at the rate star also because star imply all the signals defined in my code if anything gonna change anytime please execute my always block so both are same then why we are using different thing just while ago i have explained right because we want to use these things more rich thing if else case statements so we need to use our always block but the downside of this is that there are many time non intuitive way of making error also arise anytime we use a always block there we need to little bit of cautious anytime we are using a always block now they are they are giving us one example and that is this one they are using an assign statement so anytime you write a assign statement your out one will become a wire type implicit, implicitly right and anytime these things are changing if d change if c change if b change if a change anything gonna change it will just drive your out one again power gone yeah power is back again okay so anytime any signal out of this four are changing your out one will also change because we have a assign statement and we know both things are continuously driven same things will happen here also because we have given a star so star means how many signal we have a b c d and out so anytime anything is changing please execute this block so execute this block means we will execute it with a new value of that changed variable so both are doing the same thing but the problem the like difference is that one difference is that here we need to use if else uh, those things are available now with the always block but here here why we are using and here if we use it then what's the difference why we are using it's just our wish we can achieve it with the assign statement also and we can achieve the same thing using a procedure block or a always block right so that's our wish but if we do it then there would be some significant amount of differences in your data type for example here out one out one is nothing but a net type and inside net type it is a wire but here your out two will become a variable type or inside variable type it will become a reg 
so that's one different and the same thing they have explained here using the diagram but the conclusion of this discussion is that if you need more rich statements like case if else anything like while if we have then we have no option other than using a procedural block of always but if we don't need to use it like we don't need them then we can use anywhere we can use always also and we can use assign also and if we use anything then we need to know that what is happening to our data type so that's also important now they are saying anytime you gonna do this combinational always block like you are not in the sensitivity list sensitivity means after always the braces is there what are inside the argument so sensitivity list for combinational always block need to be with star for sure never like never write them explicitly explicitly means write those signals name because you might miss something and if you miss something then your logic would be totally different so never try that out and only define the sensitivity list explicitly anytime you use any positive edge clock or negative edge clock or anytime you use this type of always block which we have never used yet we will use in our next class in next class gonna be very interesting i'll tell you why okay but before that let's do a practice here so now they are telling build a end gate which we have already done but let's do it here we'll do in some different way using both assign statement and a combinational always block since assign statement and combination always block function identically there is no way to enforce that you are using both method but you are here to practice right okay yeah <laughs> so they won't tell you that hey you are doing it wrong or right but we will try in both way because we need to practice it so first what's our wish our wish is that first <clears throat> first let's use the assign statement because we are pro with assign statement so okay with the assign statement let me use this one just tell me what the error i'm gonna have here uh, like before our compiler will give us you need to tell tell me what's error i am doing please comment down now pause and tell me yeah pause the video and tell me what's error i am gonna have here i'm using the assign not always hope you have commented down let me submit and let's see if we have any error or not and see we have error and the error is that just remember the error type you in very low coding more many time you will find this type of error for sure so here they are saying object out uh, that out always block we use in left hand side left hand side of the assignment must have a net type right must have a net type but here see this is not a net type this is a reg type and i said you anytime you write assign if you write it where or not where is a net type only then also by default it will become a net type but here we have explicitly mentioned it so that time we for sure we need to use the wire type or net type here for sure we are using this one but it is explicitly mentioned that it is a register type so that's that's why your assign statement is unable to convert it to a wire type so that's why we are getting error so to not get error what we need to do we just need to close it and we need to use this fellow here i i'm i want to do another error now okay let me submit it first uh, we'll get some mismatch here because we want to create two end gate but i'm creating only one end gate but at least there should not be any red ink in our display like very look should not tell us hey you are doing something wrong this the, we have a reading but this is from our hdl bits but at least very log is executed right we haven't violated any rules uh, we'll come to the exact answer a little little later but let me do another error here so this is this is the end gate using a assign statement now we will do a uh, end gate using a always statement so i will write always and we are, end gate is a combination circuit only so what we will do we will use this sensitivity list and anyway we don't have any clock here so for sure use this one after that what we gonna do we will write again comment down what's error i'm gonna have here out assign equal to a n person b why i am using bitwise and tell me answer answer it i won't tell you now why not logical and gate why i am using a bitwise okay let me tell you quickly because a and b are one bit only 
it's not not, not matter like i am using a bitwise end or a logical end okay yeah, it's running i'll get a reading in variable in verilog only i'll get some error not in hdl weird see and this type of error also you gonna have many time in future and that is your out assign on the left hand side of assignment must have a variable uh, must have a variable data type and variable data type reg is one of the type inside variable data type and i said you write any time inside always block if you write something in the left hand side that need to be a variable type and reg is a variable type and we have that here available so we'll write it here and here we'll uh, do the another another gate because both gate need to be there otherwise we will keep on getting a mismatch in hdl environment so i hope you are mostly clear like what's the difference between assign and what's the difference between always block and actually um, okay let me show you first mismatch is there yeah see mis mismatch is zero we have two end gate and two result okay and the good thing is that we have already used a always block during our multiplexer designing so that time you got the experience but the experience which we still haven't got and that is using a clock but anytime you you use a clock actually in our next problem so let us go to next problem so in our next problem actually we will have one of the most well known question you're gonna face from very long in any interview anywhere online anywhere you search and that is difference between blocking and non-blocking assignment so first we need to know this one what those are and and then only we can use the power of this type of always block right and we will also need to investigate then that what's the difference between this one and this one that's also very important and for that day number 13 is the perfect day is a time for today's questions so here is your today's question you need to answer it and as i said many times these questions are very important because these are coming directly in your exams directly in your um, interviews also because see these scores are very small so anytime they can uh, anytime they can write in interview and they can tell you here tell me the different uh, what the issues are coming here so probably i'm your interviewer and i'm taking your interview and tell me what's the issue with this code please explain what each line is doing so you need to tell it just one hint i can give you we have three issue in this module this module clock gen have three issues three errors you need to write down in the comment section and till then uh, keep smiling and i'll see you in our next class